I want to show you guys the selection that I'm up against. I'm looking for a tri-tip screwdriver. And these little sets don't have them. The only one that I think has it is this $35 set that I've always had my eye on. A friend of mine purchased it and it is awesome. And I think today we're going to end up taking it home because that's what we need. So this is what we're going to get. Precision iFixit set. It's $34.95 or $34.99. Welcome YouTube. This is another MTR Fab video. And today we're doing a tool review about the iFixit Mako Precision Bit Set. And on our channel prior, we've reviewed this cheap bit set and screwdriver from Harbor Freight. This is one of the $10 gems in my opinion. If you haven't seen the video, please go check it out. And uh, we're going to make some references to this in comparison. Um, you know, you can't compare really apples to apples, but we're going to see what the, what the difference is between a $10 screwdriver set and this $35 screwdriver set by iFixit. And I've seen this set uh, on some other YouTube repair type sites, hobbyists. And they show you kind of what their market is. They're shooting for the guys who play with, you know, cell phones, toys, and such. And that's actually why I had to consider purchasing this. Uh, this set uh, was actually showed to me by uh, a co-worker after I had seen it online. And it was the first time I had seen one in person. And it's really a pretty impressive set. These are all the things that are available inside. And the person that showed me this at work uh, plays with a lot of stuff and he had nothing but good things to say. So thanks Jeremy for the recommendation. Here it is and we're going to share it with everybody else. Um, so part of the reason why I got into this and why it was required is recently I've acquired a vintage Game Boy. And part of what makes these things uh, kind of go nowadays is the displays get missing bars and segments and this one had a couple more that were missing than there are now but I'm trying to share with you that one line up the side that's a repairable symptom but you have to open the Game Boy now jokes on me because Game Boy was smart enough I don't know if you can see that clearly but that is a tri-tip screw tip and there's a bunch of them all around the case and you won't be able to open this unless you have a tri-tip well in the ten dollar harbor freight kit we went over all the bits and pieces in there and there is no tri-tip now could you make something work i don't know maybe but we're not going to try we're going to buy the right tool for the job now another example of this is a this is a vintage sony product that needs a battery replacement. And on the bottom of it are these really special screws. And those are five tip screws. And on the iFixit set, they're calling those pentalobe. And I believe like uh, Apple products are typically put together with these as well. Um, but I need to get in here and replace the battery. How am I gonna do that? I can't do that with this. Again, maybe there's something in there I could make work but I want the right tool for the job. On top of that, in these kits, these are Phillips tips. A lot of people will use Phillips on stuff like, this is the same item, and that appears to be a Phillips screw right there, but it probably isn't. It's probably a JIS screw, a Japanese screw, which, by the way, the iFixit set has. So again, all of these uses are reasons of why, you know, a basic entry level set like this will do for, for most things. Well, obviously there's different piles of different options that you could buy, but this particular set is super nice. And I'm going to show that to you here in a minute. So I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to show you that back of that one more time. And all the good stuff. It's definitely designed for a hobbyist in mind. 
Now I'm going to unbox this and I'll show you the kit. All right. Oh, there's a cool little sleever. Got a hang tag. I think it's really just for the retail end of it. Uh, it does have a sticker on it, so if you think you're going to want to hang this thing up, try to peel the sticker off nice. Uh, otherwise, leave it behind. I'm not going to use it, but I figured I'd show it to you because it's kind of an interesting sleeve. There's the Welcome to the Repair Revolution. Little iFixit stickers. And I guess uh, they're explaining about what they do. We're going to push that off to the side. And let's check this out. See, so I fix it. It's nicely made, ABS, I think. It's got metal corner pieces. And we've got the cover off. Fits nicely. Let me get some silica in there. Let's get that out of the frame. Now, what do we have here? All kinds of goodies. I want to give you guys a pan of the whole shebang, nice slow, so you can see every tool and every size. Hopefully I'm not too close. I'm not going to name all these off because half of them I can't barely see myself. It's hard to do on camera. But you guys can see them. Hopefully they look all right. So I'm looking for tri point, which I believe are right in here. So these are the guys that I'm going to look to use. Hopefully this guy right here will be the one. So let's check that out real quick. Let's see. Oh yeah. That be the one. So, one use down. We'll figure out the rest later. But, what I wanted to show you was how awesome this set is. For multiple reasons. Now that cheap set had a plastic handled tool this is a nice all aluminum. I don't know if there's a bearing in there, but there's definitely nice precision. It's not, you know, it's probably not a bearing, but it does spin very nicely. Either way, metal end, not plastic again. Super nice feeling. Their iFixit branding on it. It's got a foam lined case. All the tools are individually marked. The tool itself is stamped and the holder location. The other thing I was thinking that this set would be handy for is opening up the cartridges. So again, these smaller diameter um, little nut drivers are worth something. Now, just like in that Harbor Freight set, there's a flexible adapter here. I, you know, again, I kind of said I probably don't see myself using that much, but it's in this kit as well. This is labeled as the same 4mm drive as the Harbor Freight Kit. But there's definitely way more variety for tools here. Now, it, it's definitely the variety is why you know I would want something like this. Unfortunately, it really only looks like there's one of each. So if you damage them, that's it. Unfortunately, you won't find another one. Which brings me back to, you know, I've always used the wrong Phillips screwdriver on those little JIS screws. And, you know, maybe these will last a lot longer when you have the right tool for the job. So, that's what's really cool about this set. Is it's not the cheapest set for sure. That will stay in place. So you can set it down and not lose your cover. When you're done, pop your cover off. It lines up, no hassle. It's on there pretty good. I feel like the tools are held in there nicely. Um, this is probably way more durable than you know something like this. Everything about it. Now, at way more cost. 
So this set was $34.99 at Home Depot. And that's part of the reason why I'm telling you guys about this is you don't need to order this online and wait because it's so nice to be able to just drive somewhere and go pick it up. Now almost everybody in uh, you know around the United States will probably have a Home Depot that they can just go down to the store and grab one. But if you don't live in an area where you can get right to Home Depot, I'm sure you can go find these online and look for the same set. This is branded as a 64 piece set, uh, 64 bits, I guess. Doesn't really tell you if that's bits and bobs, but it's 64 bits. And that's going to do it for me, guys. I just wanted to show you the difference, and you can make the choice for yourself what you need. This is what I need now, and I probably could have cut to the chase and just bought this, but again, there's applications where having this will be handy as well. Alright guys, that's it for today, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. We're going to get to playing with some stuff here shortly. We just keep doing tool stuff because we keep doing uh, indoor tasks. It's super cold and still snowing around my area. And I'm anxious to get outside and for spring to come. So, we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out.